fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks. All right, here we go, guys. Part two of a November 9 Tot Tog Blackfish trip with John Skinner. Um, part one was actually the Coast Guard video, so you didn't miss any action on the fish there. Just uh, a lot of disorganization on my part, but I digress. So uh, what we're going to talk about on this trip, it was a great trip. It was a cold trip. We left the dock. It was 28 degrees, and it never got above 32. And it was a short trip. Uh, under four hours, we were at the fishing grounds about 7.30, and we didn't leave until 11.15. So under a four-hour trip, lots and lots of keepers caught. Uh, I'm going to show most of mine. Skinner had a great day too. But uh, the reason I'm going to show most of mine, the first fish will be Skinner's though. Um, but I want to show how we set on a uh, on a jig on a on a blackfish, and we look for a couple things. Uh, we either look for what we will call he's running with it. The fish is running with it. And hopefully, because I have the camera in linear mode and it's zoomed into my rod tip a lot of the times, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about, where you're getting tap, 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 and all of a sudden your line starts moving. And what I like to do is I like to, even though I'm holding the rod tight, I like to keep it balanced in my hand, almost like a seesaw, so that when the fish does start running with it, I can just turn my wrist slightly and let the fish go, almost like bowing to the cow, where when you feel a striped bass on the line, you don't set the hook you don't start reeling instead you let him go with it a little bit to really eat it and then you drive the hook through and then the the second most um popular way or feel that you have for for these fish is the hard thump so tap 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 hard thump now today because we had a, a few windy days and the temperature really dropped and i think it's a trigger to these fish to start feeding before they lay up for the winter we had a very aggressive bite it wasn't a picky bite at all they were on it so most of the fish are caught with that running style where the fish is running with it that's when they're really aggressive when you feel that run and hopefully you'll be able to see that here um just look at my rod tip. If my rod tip's in the water, that means a fish is about to be caught. Hope you enjoy. Uh, please ask any questions in the comments. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like this content, please hit that subscribe button. There you go. Better? Yeah. Net? Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. It's gonna be a keeper. Yeah, yeah, good. Oh, I feel those hand warmers. Oh, oh I took mine off. Oh, nice fish. Oh, there's the rust color you, you've come to enjoy. Very nice fish. Good job. And here's another great example of the swimming away. Uh, look at the top of the screen. You'll see my rod tip coming up shortly. You'll see a large thump, and then you see my rod tip go all the way down. And again, I'm trying to balance that rod on my hand so that if the fish does swim with it, A, it doesn't feel resistance, and B, I know that it's swimming away. My rod tip literally was going towards the water, and I set hard, and I was rewarded with a beautiful fish. Now I'm thinking of that line. I have a really good one on. Net? I may need a net on this one. He he took a giant run. I barely budged him off the bottom. And I got that frayed line. The one I lost on the go. Maybe. I think he's got another run in him. I mean, I feel the weight on him, and he's not foul hooked. He went right under the boat. And I have the drag rather, oh yeah, 
Ooh, Lily! <laughs> Bloody slack. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I got it. Fish, fish. What's the weight on this? You think? It's over seven. Yeah, it's over seven for sure. Yeah, Skinner, a little over seven. Seven, the line, the whole seven line is showing. It's going towards the eight. Uh, you want them? No, no, we, let's keep, I mean, look, I think we're gonna, are you keeping fish today too? Yeah, I am. Um, I'll keep them if you want them. No, let's, let's not. Let's not. We're, we just got out here. And I, you know, you know how I feel about people, releasing right? the big guys. We only have two keepers, right? Yeah, we do. We have a couple of sea bass. Bye bye. I'd rather release the big guys anyway. And here's a good example of just a solid thump. And if you look again at the top of the screen at my rod tip, you'll just see a really sharp thump. And I said on that. Uh oh, this is a good one. It's not even off the bottom yet. This is a really good one. I don't know if I need a net now. Sorry, Skinner. I'm sorry. I may, it may not. He, I foul hooked him. No, no, no. no. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, it is a good one. Well, it's not that good. No, but it's a keeper. Yeah. Good. But it maybe it had me in the rock because yeah. I couldn't budge him. Oh, it's a nice fish. Thank you. Wow. It's definitely a keeper. Yeah. Seven. No. Yeah, no, I wasn't. He wasn't moving. Huh. Oh, he's fat too. Whew. All right, he's. Yeah, that looked like. Uh, I yeah. I thought it was I thought it was a serious fish. Yeah, that I mean, there's no question that you know for this kind of fishing that would be the thing to, thing to use. Yeah, you got a link to it on your blackfish videos, right? What's that? You have a link to it on your blackfish okay. videos. All right, I'll order it through you. I ordered uh, my boat rods through my link, and I got zero pennies for them. <laughs> they showed on the reports, but no, no, uh, no, what you call it. Ooh, this guy looks big in the water. Might be right at 16 or is he fighting good. I think I'll pass. Worth a measure. Didn't really pull that much drag though. The male too with the square white chin. Feel okay about taking him. No, no. Oh, he's good. He's over. Clear the water is. I don't know where these people are, but. Uh oh. Go. Yeah, this is good. I don't need a net though. We've limited now officially because this, this guy's definitely gonna pass. Oh babe. I think he's gonna pass. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See, once I'm down, it doesn't scope. I'm also not getting hit with the whole crab. Give it a pull. Yeah. You always say that, that if you're not feeling a bite after, yeah, move, it. Yeah. move it. Yep. You're not gonna scare them away. I know. I mean, but people I think thought that. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that's a good one. 
Nah. No? No, it's a keeper, but... Oh, come on. Maybe. We'll see. Ah, six pound fish, Skinner. I, I'll horse him in. If I see I need a lead, I'll let you know, but I don't think I do. I think it's a six. Five to six. That was on the whole green. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, I mean, it's a nice fish. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I it was. No, no, no. And it's his lucky day that we've limited. Oh, you're on one too, huh? What about you? You need a net? No. All right. Another keeper. Very close, if not. Ooh, Ooh perfect release. I, I had the tool ready for you. Definitely feel the weight difference on the good ones. Need that? Nah. It's gonna be another another okay fish. Another good fish, but oh, yeah. come here you. Not bad. Let's get our I am on fire! All right, jackass, calm down. Oh, what a hit that was. Yeah, huh? Catch that fish. I got one little guy hitting, hitting, hitting. Nothing. Whoa! <laughs> nah, he's not that good. Not taking drag, so he hit like a ton of bricks though. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, I think he almost ripped a rod out of my hand. Nah. It's okay, it's not nothing to write home about. Skinner, he's frothing. Look at this. Look at the bubbles coming out of his mouth. You ever seen that before? He's mad. It's got... The weight sits on the bottom. Oh, Skinner, that... That hit like a ton of bricks. If this is a fish and not foul hooked... It is. Doc, I got a good one on! Shit. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, that'd be awesome if it did. You'd get it back. Is he just foul hooked by the tail, maybe? I'm just beginning to wonder that. Well, he took drag. Yeah. Um, well, it's a big fish no matter what. Yeah, it is. I think he's going to be all good. Because you never got him in the car, it's a big fish. Maybe. Oh, yeah. All legit. Ready? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let him go, let him go. Good job. Slack. Good fish, Doc. Thank you. Yeah. Look at this. It's got weight. Six and a half. Well, he's going back. And that's going to be the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed it. This was a lot of fun. I had six charters in a row right before this. And it was nice to just get out and not worry about uh, customers and just have some fun with my friend uh, Skinner and catch some nice fish. If anybody's curious about uh, the gear we use, the, there'll be links to it in the description. I was using a St. Croix Triumph six foot medium 
rod with a Pen Battle 2 2000 class reel. I'm using 10 pound test uh, and 25 pound leader. Skinner is using a uh, Tsunami Slim Wave 6 foot 4 medium heavy uh, spinning rod with a Tsunami Evict 2000 reel. He's using 15 pound braid and I believe he's also using 25 pound uh, fluoro, but it, it might be 30. Don't quote me on that. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like this content, please hit that subscribe button.